everybody. My name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding coaching strategist. And you've been with me for a couple of episodes. If this doesn't look familiar to you, it's because you're in my office. This is where all the magic happens. This is typically where I sit for video calls or coaching calls by phone. And so I just thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of include you into this atmosphere. Today is the beginning of November. It's the first episode in the month of November 2017. Somebody hold me and give me a weighted blanket. I cannot believe that it is 2017, which means we are fast approaching 2018. This is the time of year where we are going to be uh, confronted and really embraced fully with the concept of giving because in the United States of America, we get to celebrate Thanksgiving, but also the holidays. And then inevitably a beginning of a new year. That is when most entrepreneurs and most people are pressured into thinking that they need to create a new life for themselves. So we're going to slow it way down and we're going to start with what really influences some of our goals. And I want to talk with you over the next few weeks a little bit about all the elements that come into who you are, whose you are, your value proposition, something we talk about in coaching quite a bit. And then eventually we'll gradually get to the place to how we are going to make goals that are connected to a vision and to our value and to who we are and our big why. But first, let's talk about the concept of giving. So you will have heard me talk about the fact that I am an English second language girl. So that means that in order for me to effectively use this language, I very heavily rely on a dictionary. It's my favorite tool. It's probably the tool I use most often. I go and look at the definition of a word. And because it's November and because we get to celebrate Thanksgiving and because that word giving is in there, I wanted to kind of talk to you a little bit about business and giving. So in business, and in our work, we really focus on the thing and the value we give to the people we serve, to our clients and customers, to our community. So what does giving mean? Well, first of all, a couple of things, a couple of notes I wrote down. You have to know what you got, what you have before you can give it. And then also you have to know what is needed before you can give what you have. So you can't really give something if you don't know what is needed. And you can't really give something if you don't know what it is you have to give. How does that connect to business? Well, in business, you have to know your value proposition, not just your service or the work you do or the product you sell, but you have to know exactly how that connects to your talent and your skills and your tools and the need that you're trying to serve. We've talked about that in the past, but it always bears repeating. So what does to give mean as a verb, as defined by dictionary.com, the easiest tool you have access to? It means to freely transfer the possession, an important word, of something to someone. Transferring possession of something to someone. That implies a transaction. It means that you're actually taking something you have and you're giving it to someone else. Very important. Very important to discern that that is a value exchange of some sort. So when we talk about your value proposition and when we have talked in the past about your why, we really want to root the service or the product that you offer as an entrepreneur, especially as a creative entrepreneur. We want to connect that and we want to know what it is that you're transferring from uh, of something to someone. Okay, so it is also for a very specific purpose. Any product, service that you offer is for a very specific purpose. So during this month, we're going to give a lot of attention to friends and family and neighbors, to our community. We're going to give of ourselves. We're going to give in value. Maybe that expresses itself in hospitality. Maybe that expresses itself in charity or friendship. 
maybe that expresses itself in time. So the time that we give or monetarily in money. But give also has another meaning. So give is not only a verb, but it's also a noun. And that is really exciting and very unique, actually, to the English language, where a word, the same word, can function both as a, both as a verb and a noun. And as a noun, so now just stick with me. This is going to get really fun. The word give as a noun means the capacity to bend or alter in shape under pressure. Hear that with me the give. So what's your give? How do you bend and alter in shape under pressure? How do you respond to circumstances that force you to bend or give? What's your give? And don't you think that in business often we confuse the verb give with the noun give? So as a business coach, when I ask you, what do you give? You will probably give me a description of the services and the products that you offer, which is not false. That is absolutely correct. But I want to ask you, what is your give in terms of a noun? So we give in time again, we give in value and we give in, val in money, money. So those three time, value and money but we also give in our capacity to alter in shape and under pressure. Your capacity to respond to the things, whether that is with clients or customers, even in community, whether that is with your friends and family and neighbors, your capacity to give, your ability to bend and to alter yourself under pressure, to communicate value and worth and time and money under pressure in community and in relationship is really a telling sign or a telling thing of your overall capacity, your overall gift. So your capacity is tested and it's tested usually in time, money, or value. So one nice rule of thumb is to think of it this way. Two, two out of the three can increase in pressure. So time and value or time and money. But when all three increase, your give is going to break. Your capacity is going to be extended past a breaking point. Why is that important? Because in business you always, and actually, by the way, in life, you always want to pay attention to what taxes your capacity. And if you are taxed, if you are impacted, if the pressure increases in all three parts of that give, you might be giving yourself to a breaking point. And that is not valuable and actually impacts your perception of your worth. Well, your worth is not negotiable. You are worth the break. You are worth a pause. You are worth an assessment of looking at where your give might be under so much pressure that it might break. So during this month, as we are preparing into Thanksgiving and into the holidays, but really as we are anticipating and feeling the beginning of a new year, some of us will be looking forward to that with a bated breath, and some of us will feel the pressures of that. I want to ask you to look at your give, both in terms of a verb, so transactionally, but also in terms of a noun. Look at where your give is. Look at the pressures. Look at what really taxes you in your life. This might include, but not be exclusive to business. This might include and not be exclusive to time, value, and money. This might also include friendships and community work. It might include a whole number of things. Sit down with yourself and ask yourself, where do I feel the most amount of pressure? And then if you would, 
also look at what do I have to offer? What is my ability to give? And then remind yourself that actually in terms of your strength and your makeup, in terms of your talents and your gifts and your skills, you are uniquely designed to meet a specific need. You are not meant to meet every single need. So in hopes of that mindset, I would think that as you are looking at the um, the different the different taxing things that you are look, that you are faced with, that you would also remind yourself of your talents and your strength and your gifts and the tools you have to see what specific need you can meet. Okay, so we're going to go, just keep doing this. And what makes this extra fun is if you give me your questions, thoughts, ideas, or pushback. I really appreciate that you subscribe. That means so much to me. And your comments are really important, not just because they add value to this channel, but they really help me understand what it is that you're looking for. This kind of exchange for a coach like me, a relational person, is only fun because I can imagine you sitting across from me. It's kind of weird because I'm talking to a camera. But if you're speaking to me, if you're talking back, this is your one chance to talk back in life, go ahead and tell me what your thoughts are. Go ahead and talk back because I want to engage with you. I want to know what you think. Listen, have a good day. Make it a wonderful experience for yourself and those around you. And if you, like me, are in Sonoma County or in Napa County, Mendocino County, Lake County, Solana County, I want you to remember one thing. We remain wine country strong, but really, love remains. And I want you to remember that. Have a good day.